Ericsson, one of the largest scooter manufacturers in the world, built the Soho 50 for Lance using a fairly traditional layout, though the factory specs are a bit ambiguous. Mike Hickman down at Lance Power Sports in Myrtle, Ona, California, assures me that it runs on a tubular steel underframe, and not a monocoque or unibody as some of the design aspects seem to suggest. The frame comes with a full drop allowing for a dead flat foot area, and the little between feet cargo deck scooter riders like to use for a bit of extra cargo capacity for grocery getting missions. Telescopic front forks buoy the front end while a single, coil-over shock floats the rear between the swing unit motor and rear subframe. The rear shock mounts to the left of center, which leaves it looking a bit asymmetrical from the rear, but it makes sense because that is closer to center of mass for the drive unit. The 16-inch aluminum rims, an almost unheard of size for scooters, mount the road rubbers. These uncommonly large wheels handle rough patches better than the smaller versions, track well on the straights and make the Soho 50 corner with more enthusiasm than one might expect. I've always hated the little, wheelbarrow tires many scooters run, and this makes for a refreshing change. Right off the top of my head I can think of at least half a dozen, full-sized bikes that run smaller wheels, so the little Soho is ahead of the game in this department.